The Falcons have lost just one game all season when they hosted Saracens in Philadelphia in September, meaning they've won all three of their away games so far. And they haven't won four away in a row since their title-winning campaign 20 years ago. With less than 20 minutes on the clock, the Chiefs open the scoring. Nick White burrowing over after their first foray into the Falcons' 22, the Australian scoring his first try of his Chiefs' career. Gareth Steenson added the extras and then a further penalty to stretch the hosts' lead to 10. And the Australian scrum half was instrumental for Exeter's second score. A neat 1-2 with Sam Simmons and then White neatly offloaded to fellow countryman Lockie Turner for a straightforward run-in. The Falcons were stubborn opposition throughout the afternoon and managed to stay in touch when skipper Will Welch forced his way over from close range to make the score 17-5. With injuries to Billy Vunapola and Jack Clifford, Sam Simmons did his England selection chances no harm when he stepped back inside twice and went in underneath the posts. Shortly before the break, the Falcons managed to narrow the deficit further, Nicky Gonover giving Juan Pablo Cecino his second score in as many weeks. Cecino's next meaningful involvement undid some of his earlier good work. Straight after half-time, referee Andrew Jackson sending him to the bin for leading with the elbow in the tackle. Steenson kicked the resulting points. Then sustained Falcons pressure saw them work an overlap. Alex Tate drifting outside his man and on to Toby Flood's pass for Newcastle's third score of the afternoon. And with an hour gone, Exeter captain Jack Yendall, playing his 100th game, was held up over the line. But Falcons winger DTH van der Merwe had joined them all illegally. Another seven points to the Chiefs' total and ten minutes in the cooler for the Canadian. And with just four minutes left, Nicky Gonover crossed over for a well-deserved try, earning the Falcons the try bonus and a slim chance of a losing bonus point. It wasn't to be, but Dean Richards and his men still had the one point to take back to Newcastle. Final score at Sandy Park, extra 34, Newcastle 24.